Ja, herzlichen Dank und ich yes, möchte uh, jetzt einer Frau Frankreich. das Wort geben, die like ähm, für die Europäische Union unerlässlich unterwegs ist, um an der Lösung von Konflikten mitzuarbeiten, nämlich der Hohen Vertreterin Friederica Mogherini. Frederica Mogherini. Thank you, and uh, I would like to thank all those humanitarian workers that are doing the difference, making the difference, trying to make the difference every single day. And I believe that if we are here today, it's because we feel we share a responsibility, and I would say a duty. The duty and the responsibility to focus today and tomorrow, when the conference will be over, on the people of Syria. We see the numbers. We talk of geopolitics, but we often forget the names, the faces of the persons whose lives are at stake. And let me say that sometimes we Europeans do that. If we focus on them, each and every one of them, then maybe it will be a little bit easier, it will help us a little bit to make the right things, to take the right decisions. And we all have difficult decisions to take in order to be consistent and honor our responsibilities on both tracks we have in front of us. The humanitarian one, and I'll come to that, and the fragile, difficult, very difficult, but still finally existent political process built with patience and courage in Vienna, in New York, in Geneva, next week in Munich. Let me also say very clearly here, as I see him sitting here, that mentioning the name of Staffan de Mistura or thanking him is not enough. We need to empower him and create the conditions for his work to succeed. This is our responsibility. And let me also say very clearly that those who still believe that there can be a military solution to this war should wake up, should simply wake up. The only way to save Syria and to save Syrians is to implement the roadmap set by all of us in the International Support Group and endorsed for the first time ever after five years of war by a Security Council resolution unanimously adopted in December. Implement it in all its parts. A ceasefire in place as talks will restart. Immediate implementation of confidence building measures starting with full access for humanitarian aid to all areas in need. The ones we see, like Madaya, and all the others, the names of which our public opinion ignore. We need to protect the political process, make it inclusive, make it deliver, and make sure it is accompanied by substantial steps on the ground. To rebuild trust, not only among the parties, but first and foremost, among the Syrians. The EU, as the major donor for Syria, the major donor for Syria, and as a major political and diplomatic player in the region, feels this sense of urgency. And let me say, we expect this sense of urgency is shared by all in the region and the international community. Today, the European Union pledges 2.4 billion euros of EU budget alone for 2016 and 17. This is more than twice our pledge at last conference in Kuwait, and this is only from EU budget. On top of that come the national contributions. <laughs> but let me say that money alone will not make it. You know that better than me. If you have the money, you have the humanitarian aid, you don't have access and you don't have a political horizon, we will meet here again next year with more money and no solution. We do this anyway. We do this to support Syrians inside Syria. We do this to support Syrians hosted in the neighboring countries, in Jordan, in Lebanon, in Turkey. The EU-Turkey Joint Action Plan and the refugee facility have just been activated. We are working closely with Lebanon and Jordan on what we call the European Union Compacts, which are plans that won't just ease the living conditions of the refugees, they will also support the economic and social resilience of Lebanon and Jordan in these very difficult times. Let me mention in particular the fact that we're working with Jordan on an initiative on rules of origin to promote new employment and economic opportunities 
and encourage additional investment to the benefit of both Jordanians and the refugees. And let me also announce here that this initiative could be implemented if the Council agrees over a 10-year period with a mid-term revision. And let me also stress here, especially here in London, that this is exactly a specific added value of the European Union compared to single measures that member states can take. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan and Lebanon are still rocks in the Middle Eastern storm, and investing in their resilience and in their sustainability, in the sustainability of their policies uh, is also an investment in our own security, in our own future. The future of Syria, the future of those children, women and men we have seen in the video, will not be written somewhere else. And it is our responsibility to allow them to live it. It is our collective responsibility to make today a day of hope, as the Chancellor mentioned this morning, and to turn hope into reality, to bring peace in Syria and rebuild the country. The European Union is ready. Thank you.